Check out this pumpkin goodwill flip. Keep watching. So this Goodwill palette sign and the frame there both came from Goodwill. The pumpkin is missing a stem. We're going to fix that later. Alright, so this is just a picture frame there. And then this is a card. A really pretty card I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to take this frame apart, remove the backing and the glass. Now the palette frame or the palette pumpkin underneath has some raised levels. So there's some areas on the right side that don't have a raised spot. This is not damaged, it's actually made this way. We're gonna make up for that in just a minute. Because if you don't seat it down there correctly, it's gonna wobble. We're going to use a combination of the Dollar Tree fix-all glue and some Gorilla hot glue on this project also. I'm going to use two popsicle sticks. That seems to be the right width of space between the edge of that frame and the pumpkin underneath. So again, we're going to make it level by putting these together. So I'm going to use some the fix all and some hot glue to do this. Probably not necessary, necessary to use the fix all, but there's a little weight to that frame and I don't want anything falling off once I get it put together. So just be on the safe side. And the hot glue is going to glue pretty quickly and then the fix all will have a better hold, a longer hold in the long run. So for instant gratification, I'm using glue stick. And just sporadically putting it on the parts that are actually going to make contact with the frame. Um, I keep saying frame, it's the pumpkin, the pumpkin underneath. You can see here where the areas are raised. Some of the slats are raised and some are not. Alright, so I've got it ready and stable, and I'm just going to place it down where I want it. I want to put it a little bit lower down, not in the center. Okay, so I'm just going to use the envelope that came with that pretty card up there and just trace it out on a piece of cardboard that came out of a calendar that I bought from Dollar Tree. See? See where I'm going with that? Alright, so now I'm going to take some, um, I was going to use some of this tape, but I decided to use the glue stick from Dollar Tree. It works well. Alrighty, so I centered it so it's framed out just a little bit, and I'm going to just use, run a bead of hot glue down the high points of that picket and place it down there. So now it won't look like a frame anymore, it's just going to look like a picket fence with a pretty sign on it. And in case you're wondering, those are, those are wheat stems on the thankful card. All right, and so just to hold that down and keep it flat, I'm going to add these pieces, let them dry for a minute. Now I'm going to pull the stand off the back of that picture frame from before, and that is going to be our stem. Isn't that perfect? Fits perfectly. Okay, so what you can't see because I'm out of the screen is me wrapping some jute around the top of there to finish off that stem. It's actually not jute. It's that rope looking, looks like rope. It's in the harvest section, but it's stretchy. Um, 
I don't have the packaging to show you that because I took it out of the packaging, but you can use jute. It'll do the same thing. Then I'm using these clamps that came out of the Dollar Tree. They're in the laundry section if you want to find something like that for yourself. And I'm going to let that dry. In the meantime, I'm picking out some ribbon to make a bow. This is going to be kind of a small bow, a little petite bow. It's really pretty. I think it looks like it came from maybe Walmart, the ribbon, but I actually got it from Goodwill. So I've also went ahead and dovetailed the ends of those ribbons. And now I'm just making another one of those, um, another one of those little bows. I believe it's called a funky bow. I'm gonna have to do some research so I can get you guys straight. And you can refer to other videos when I don't get in the camera. But anyway, I'm folding them completely in half, finding the middle of the section, pinching it, and then holding it between my, my thumb and my first finger. I'm just holding it in my hand. So all the loops are up and all the little dovetail ears are down. And I'm going to take a handy dandy zip tie. I love these things. They also come from the Dollar Tree. And you can buy these white ones and you can buy a pack of, I think they're black and red and they're smaller. So whatever, whatever you prefer, you probably get more in the package of smaller ones. It's just the way it goes sometimes. Yeah, I'm just going to tighten that up because I know I'm going to be pulling on it a good bit to fluff it. You know me and my fluffing. Cut that end off and then start laying that bow out. Now nothing goes to the bottom. This is like a, a pancake. Like if you're looking from above down, you're going to see all the little ends sticking around, around where all the little folded pieces are. So all the little ears and all the little tails will all be fluffed out. Kind of like a flower, I guess. And it's going to allow you to have a flat spot on the bottom. Be sure that you turn all of your decorative sides upward and the plain side down. Fluffing, fluffing, fluffing. And fluffing some more. Okay, so that looks good. And I've had plenty of time for that to dry. And this is where I'm going to put my pretty little bow. It's a very cute little farmhouse rustic sign, I think. See the flat bottom? Gives you a good space to put some glue so you can glue it flat down on your surface. No need to tie it or secure it in any other way. Alright, so I'm just going to press and hold that down and make sure that it gets all around that raised level and that the glue gets through the fabric of that ribbon. Hold it in place. And I'm fluffing again. Isn't it cute though? Alright, and so finishing touches. I thought that it could use some leaves up there on the top. Pumpkins have leaves, so we're going to give our pumpkin some leaves. A little glue on there, tuck it under the bow, and that is that. This was a Dollar Tree and mainly thrifted pumpkin wall art. Little pieces and scraps that we put together to make a beautiful piece of rustic country, farmhouse, whatever you want to call it, distressed picket fence, pumpkin, thankful sign. Yeah. All right. And I am thankful for all of you for subscribing and watching and sharing and giving me thumbs up. I love it. I love the comments and the conversations. Keep them coming and we'll see you real soon. Bye.